All right, I just got off a multi-day uh, high adventure backpacking and fishing trip up in the Uinta Mountains uh, with some neighbors and youth in our uh, neighborhood. And um, it's part of a church function that we did. Um, anyway, I'll show you some sneak peeks of that trip. But real quick, I just wanted to highlight some of the mail and, that I have here. Let's see, I uh, recently entered into a drawing with Exploring with Wade, his channel up in Canada. <clears throat> I was uh, lucky enough to win a shirt um, from that drawing. <clears throat> it's a pretty nice shirt. His logo here, Exploring the Blade. He said he'll be sending some stickers to uh, Explore, Discover, Experience. So his channel, he highlights areas around Canada that he explores. Sees old uh, ghost towns and some other things too. It's a really cool channel. Check out Exploring with Wade. That's his logo. And then I got Nicole hikes a lot in her uh, painted rock here on my desk. Thank you, Nicole. In addition to that, she uh, sent me one of her stickers that she had made. That's her sticker right there. We'll and I got letter and a sticker from Minute on the Mountain from John. He sent me a letter and also sent me one of his stickers. We'll get it up on the fridge as well. Minute on the Mountain. Check out his channel. Uh, he's got a great channel. Gives a spiritual uh, minute and then does his uh, shed hunting and other explorations and fishing. Great channel. Thank you, John. Also, I got a package from John from Unpaved Explorer. John from the Unpaved Explorer, he's a supporter of many channels. I got this surprise gift from him in the mail. I haven't opened it yet, so let's take a look. Thank you, John. Like, uh, seems how hunting season's coming. I'm out of here to go hunting. <laughs> I ended up drawing a deer tag this year, so I'll be doing that. I'll probably be wearing this shirt too because it's just the right color. Uh, anyway, thank you, John, for sending me that nice gift. I really appreciate it. I'm editing the video now from the High Adventure trip. It should be up shortly. It's going to take me a little bit of time. There's a lot of footage on that one. So, anyway, it was a lot of fun. Two days of full on hiking and fishing, and then the last day was just a quick hour out. Lots of territory covered, lots of lakes fished, uh, plenty of fish caught, lots of fun. Uh, anyway, it was a great adventure. So, thanks for watching. Take care. All right, there's the Ball Toro 85 ready for action. And there's the synced route of the whole trip. Starting at the bottom, all the way to the top, and back down again. Looks like it came out at 28.5 miles for the trip. Dang, this hill's hard in that sun. <laughs> it's coming up faster than I can climb this hill. I'm trying to blitz it fast because I got 10 miles <clears throat> until I can start trying to find the rest of the group. Have you ever wondered how far a mile is if you were an ant? Well, I've been doing some thinking and I think I found the answer. A mile to an ant if you were an ant, still a mile. <laughs> and there it is coming into view. How about that for an overlook? Well, there's a nice stream crossing and some flowers. Just picking my way through the forest here, off trail. Oh yeah, first cast. Well, and just like that, we got a little bit of sunshine mixed with rain. Hey, 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 fish on. Well, all right, I was successful in finding the group there. I had to go 13 miles to see my neighbor across the street. It's 
good thing I got my Jar Jar Binks on. It's hot. Hear that thunder? Nice. There you are. There he goes. So one of the boys in the group, I guess, is telling one of the leaders. He says, it's kind of hard to wipe your butt while you're doing the crab walk. <laughs> I don't know what kind of poo stance he has. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that there. That should hold it. 